All right, so welcome back, everybody, for another deep dive. Yes, always fun. And today we're looking at um, System76 in their cosmic desktop environment. Okay. And uh, specifically their new Alpha 6 release. Right. So uh, we've got their blog post pulled up here. Cool. And uh, they've been busy. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, they've got some accessibility upgrades. They've brought back something that I know a lot of people have been asking for. Oh, okay. Um, and they've even made it run smoother and faster. So nice. pretty exciting stuff. Yeah, so it looks like they're really focusing on uh, making the desktop work for you uh, rather than the other way around. Yeah, for sure. So like with these accessibility upgrades, uh, it's really cool. They've added um, like a screen reader and a magnifier. Oh, wow. And uh, you can even customize the shortcut keys. Okay. But uh, even cooler than that, they're already working on high contrast modes, color inversion, and even features for colorblindness. Wow, that's uh, that's really impressive. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like, it seems like a smart move. Right. Uh, honestly, you know, making tech more accessible opens it up to a lot more people. Right. And it just, it makes sense from a design perspective as well. Yeah, for sure. It's not just like doing the right thing it's also making it so that everyone can use it and enjoy it so right and speaking of things that everyone can enjoy remember desktop icons oh yeah they're back i bet a lot of users are going to be happy about that i know right <laughs> yeah it's uh it's one of those things that can make a new desktop environment feel really familiar yeah especially if you're uh if you're coming from you know another operating system for sure oh, yeah my. and they didn't just like slap them back on there right you have, uh, you can control whether you show them or hide them. You can tweak the size and the spacing. Nice. And you can even drag and drop files between the desktop and cosmic files. Oh, cool. Talk about a smooth workflow. Yeah. So speaking of smooth workflows, uh, it looks like they've also uh, made some really nice refinements to scaling and workspaces. Yes. Um, so it's all about control. Yeah. Definitely giving you. Uh, granular control over your desktop experience. Yeah, like um, for scaling, you can now adjust in increments of 5% all the way up to 20%. Okay. Which I could see being really um, helpful for anybody who needs like larger text yeah, for readability. Right. Absolutely, yeah. And um, and the workspace improvements. Yes. Those are super slick. Uh, you can scroll between them in the overview. You can drag minimized windows between them. Wow. And uh, you can even move windows to a different display just using drag and drop. Oh, very cool. And uh, they're even talking about adding pinned workspaces in the future. Pinned workspaces. Okay. Yeah. I'm intrigued. Yeah. That could be really useful for, like, keeping certain apps or workflows always at hand. Right. So, but, you know, sometimes it's not the big flashy features that win me over. It's the little details right and um cosmic alpha 6 has a ton of those oh absolutely yeah those um those small touches can make a huge difference in how you actually use the desktop every day yeah for sure so like um windows gravitate to edges for example yeah. it's so simple but i can already see how much time it'll save oh for sure you know you just drag a window close to the edge of your screen and it automatically snaps into place so yeah no more fiddling exactly it's those uh those little quality of life improvements that you don't realize you need until you have them right and it looks like they've uh, sprinkled them throughout uh, alpha 6. yeah like um in the launcher now you can actually scroll through search results if you have more than eight Okay. Which is pretty cool. Yeah. And then there's a countdown timer for power actions, like shutdown or restart. Oh, right. So no more accidentally shutting down when you just meant to log out. Yeah, I've done that one too many times. Yes, me too. So. And then uh, even Cosmic Files got some love. Oh, okay. Um, you've got file path completion, nice. which is going to save a ton of typing. For sure. And uh, middle mouse copy and paste. Oh, cool. So again, small changes, big impact on your daily workflow. Yeah, it seems like uh, it seems like they're paying attention to what users are saying. Yes. And actually implementing those suggestions, which is great. Yeah, I agree. So. And that's reflected in the media player and Cosmic Edit as well. Oh, okay. Both have gotten some... Um, really thoughtful updates based on user feedback. Cool. So uh, the media player has a whole new navigation bar for browsing video folders, which I know some people were asking for. Nice. Plus uh, complete file menu options. Okay. And get this, it uh. displays song metadata while music is playing. Oh, very nice. I know. That's cool. Is that cool? Yeah. That cool. Um, they also added MPRs control. Yes. Uh, which basically means that you can control the media player from other applications or applets. Right. Um, and they moved the scrubber to its own line for um, better usability. Okay. Especially if you're using a single column layout. It's all about making the uh, the experience 
more intuitive and enjoyable. Very cool. Yeah. And what about Cosmic Edit? Oh, yeah. Cosmic Edit. What uh, what kind of goodies did they add there? Well, for one, they added a revert all changes feature. Oh. So if you're working on a file, if you realize you messed everything up. Oh, yeah. You can just go back to the original version. Yes. No more panic attacks. That is a lifesaver. I know, right? I can't tell you how many times I've wanted that feature. Yeah, me too. So what else? Um, well, you can also close projects entirely now. Okay. Which is, uh, which is cruel for keeping things organized. Right. And they've added uh, control plus tab cycling between open tabs. Okay. Which is, you know, a pretty standard feature. Right. And most text editors. Right. But it was missing and cosmic edit. Makes sense. Uh, yeah. It's all about those familiar shortcuts. Right. That make you feel right at home. Exactly. So. Um, and then they also added zoom functionality with, uh, with intuitive shortcuts. Okay. So control plus plus or minus to zoom in and out and then control plus zero to reset. Oh, that's awesome. I always hated having to squint at my code. Right. This is a game changer. I know. Especially when I'm working on the late night coding session. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then uh, they also switched the default fonts from Fira Sans to Open Sans. Ooh, font choice. I know. It might seem like a small thing, but... It, it can make a huge difference. Yeah. Huge difference in readability and the overall feel right. of a desktop environment. Of the whole desktop. Yeah. So um, they mentioned uh, specifically Open Sans having better legibility. Okay. Uh, glyph and language support. Okay. Nice. And a more modern aesthetic. I'm curious to see how it looks. I always like Ferris Sands, but I'm always up for something new, so. Yeah, I think it'll be a nice change. But hey, all this new stuff is great. Yeah, but yeah. what about performance? Right. Have they uh, have they made any improvements under the hood? Oh, you bet. Yeah, they've actually done a ton of work to optimize Cosmic's performance. Awesome. Um, we're talking uh, memory usage reductions across the board. Nice. Uh, they've added optimizations to prevent something called memory fragmentation. Okay. Which basically makes sure that your computer's memory is used efficiently. Right. And uh, they've even made improvements to CPU usage. So this means that it'll just feel snappier and more responsive. That's the goal. Awesome. Yeah, they've um, they've even made specific tweaks to apps like uh, display settings and wallpaper settings to make them faster. Cool. So, yeah, it's clear that they're committed to making Cosmic as fast and efficient as possible. Love that. Yeah. I mean, who doesn't love a fast and responsive desktop? But uh, let's be real. No software is perfect. And I'm sure there were some bugs to squash in this update. So oh, yeah. What did they uh, what did they tackle? Oh, there's a uh, there's a massive list of bug fixes in the release notes. I bet. We could spend the whole deep dive just going through them. Well, maybe not the whole deep dive, but right. uh, give me some highlights. OK, yeah. Uh, well, they fixed that annoying bug where workspace previews would vanish if you unplugged a monitor. Oh, really? Yeah, that was a real head scratcher. I can imagine. Um, and gamers rejoice. Oh. They've also addressed that random crashing issue in Steam. Nice. Yeah, so no more unexpected interruptions oh, awesome. during your uh, epic gaming sessions. Very cool. Um, and then this one's a bit more specific. Okay. But they fixed an issue where the numlock state wasn't persisting between sessions. Oh, okay. Yeah, so if you rely on your number pad, uh, you'll be happy to hear that it'll be working as expected now. You know, it's always impressed me how they handle bug fixes. Yeah. They really seem to listen to the community. Right. And uh, take those reports seriously. Yeah, absolutely. It's one of the things I love about open source software. Yes. It's that... Uh, that collaborative spirit. For sure. You know, that commitment to constantly improving and refining the product. Yeah. It's a really cool thing to be a part of. Absolutely. And uh, it's clear that they're putting a lot of effort into making Cosmic a polished and user-friendly desktop environment. Yeah, it seems like it. So with all these improvements in Alpha 6, I'm really curious to see how Cosmic stacks up against other Linux desktop environments. Right. You know, it's a crowded field out there. Yeah, for sure. But it feels like Cosmic is carving out its own niche with this focus on uh, user experience and performance. Yeah, it's definitely an exciting time to be watching the Linux desktop landscape. It is. You know, there's so much innovation happening and uh, and Cosmic is right there in the thick of it. Absolutely. And I'm excited to see where they take it in the future. Me too. It's definitely a desktop environment worth keeping an eye on. It is. So for our listeners out there, if you're looking for a Linux desktop environment that's both cutting edge and user friendly, I highly recommend checking out Cosmic Alpha 6. Absolutely. Uh, you can find all the details on the System76 blog, along with instructions on how to try it out for yourself. Yes. And as always, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Yes, definitely. 
Uh, let us know what you think of Cosmic in the comments below. We love to hear from you. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive into Cosmic Alpha 6. It was my pleasure. We'll be back soon with another exciting episode, so stay tuned. Sounds good.